Hello everyone, Spencer here, and today I'll be explaining how to reduce the cooldown on your clicky abilities from consoles. This means reducing the cooldown of things like the DPRM, Point Defense Bombardment Warhead, and any of the other hundreds of universal consoles that are in the game. The trait to look at is Unconventional Systems. This trait is available from an Infinity Personal Space Trait Box or via the Exchange. Unconventional systems will reduce the cooldown of Universal Consoles by 7% every time you activate a control ability. If you're not familiar with what a control ability is, there is a full list of all current control powers on the screen as of the time of me recording this video. In most cases, you're going to want to be looking at having 1-2 to two procs on here for unconventional systems. If you want to do more advanced content, or if you really want to push Bleeding Edge min max numbers, you really need to start looking at finding ways or ships to fit three to four of these Uncon procs onto a build, because they will have a major impact on how often you are able to hit your important consoles like the DPRM or the phase space membrane on a torp boat at, say, the starting group and the end group. Now, I'm going to go into a live segment here in a second. But before I do that, something I really need to note here is if you have a clicky console that has a timer duration on it, so say the DPRM, you know how it lasts for 20 seconds? You need to wait until that 20 second duration is over and it's on its cooldown before you hit the control abilities. As far as I'm aware, and I, I could be wrong, please correct me in the comments if I am, but if your console is still active, you will not receive the cooldown reduction from hitting control abilities. So do be careful when you're spamming your spacebar with a bunch of these control abilities on it. You might want to just have some of these off the spam bar and just manually hit some of them. Now let's jump into this live portion that I'm going to record, just going over my rampart and just quickly showing some parts from a recent infected run I had just to give a demonstration of the cooldown reduction power of this trait. Okay, so when we look at the rampart, the rampart doesn't look like it's anything special. It's, it's a ship that has very rarely been used by people. But given the current Torp meta, it's actually a really good performer because it's a, one of those commander command ships with a fairly decent bridge officer seating on it. And it does have limited attack consoles compared to some of the other Torp options, but it works fairly well. So with the Rampart here and many of the other Torp builds, you're going to often see a few universal consoles being used that have clicky abilities. So on a build like this, there's the Emulating Phaser Lance, the DPRM, which pretty much everyone is using at this point, uh, the Face Space Membrane, which is really good for kinetic builds because it gives a scaling damage bonus for Torps. Uh, really, really powerful if you know how to use it properly. Uh, then if I go down here, I've got the Swarmer Matrix. That's a, it deals a little bit of damage, buffs the Torps and all that a little bit. And then the Point Defense Bombardment Warhead, which is another clicky that shoots out a torp. It's pretty handy. So I've got five universal consoles on here that have clicky abilities on them. And this is where Uncon steps in to really just significantly help. So one of the things that makes the Rampart such a strong contender to me for the high-end torp meta in Infected is the fact that it can run four unconventional systems procs. Now, when people are building ships or doing like build talk, you might just hear them refer to uncon, you know, unconventional systems procs as just uncon procs or just something like that. So with a ship like this, I'm able to run a tractor beam one and a jam targeting sensors one, both of which you can run on a bunch of different ships. Scramble sensors is another one that Depending on the build, should be fairly easy to fit in, but with just those three, those are three really easy to slot triggers for Uncon. But with a ship like the Rampart, you're not going to be running Oxtabat because Oxtabat is just really bad in the current Torp meta because it kills off that membrane console. Uh, so you want to find something else that would be of use to you. And that's where this emit unstable warp bubble comes in, which is something I don't think many people have even messed with. 
It has a really long cooldown, so really its only usefulness is as a trigger for this trait. And this uh, emit unstable warp bubble, I will just point out, does come from a mission. It is free to get. It's the in the Iconian arc, Broken Circle. So it, it's free. Uh, you will have to spend, you know, a little bit down on a map to go out and get it, but it's free. It's easy to get. So I've got four triggers here for Uncon. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swap over to scene here. And I'm going to pull up an infected run I did. So this was a really good run with the Rampart that I did yesterday on, what was that, September 14th? Yeah. So... What you're going to see here is at the start, I'm activating my DPRM and the phase space membrane uh, fairly early on. You see how they have uh, a timer on them. Now, a mistake I made is that I, I spammed my space bar, which means that I did not effectively, like I had a full rotation of Uncon procs that did not reduce the cooldown of those two consoles. So that is something where using your con or having like manual control over your control abilities would be much more optimal. But this run is going to go by fairly fast, so I'm just going to let the entire thing play out. Um, but you can see as I'm activating control abilities, you can just watch as the DPRM and all those consoles just low, just slowly tick down cooldown wise. Like watch as I hit tractor beam here and all these, you, you see how, let me just pause that and go back. So right as I hit my scramble sensors here, you see where DPRM is, you see where the membrane is. So this is at 52 seconds and then it jumps to 44. So about for, for a console that has a two minute cooldown, every time you hit an unconventional systems trigger, you should be looking at like an eight second cooldown reduction to that console. So it does really add up, especially if you can use a ship like this where you can just stack the uncon rocks. It, it really, really just adds up really well. Now, you can see that this run is already, it's a minute in, and my DPRM is going to be back up by the end of this run. So, just letting it play out here. You see, I've, I've got my membrane back up at a minute 20, and I've got my DPRM back up not long after. So all of these consoles have had just massive cooldown reductions due to me running so many uncon procs. And that is that is something that you can take advantage of on many, many of your builds. Like you don't have to be doing a very high-end ISC min-max build to take advantage of this trait. This 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 combo will work for so many different builds, and it's been just so underused from what I have seen by many out there uh, on the content creator side and on just many of the builds I see posted online. I feel like there's a lot of people that are not fully taking advantage of this trait when it is something that is so massively impactful to builds out there. But that is it for my rambling. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for stopping by and stay tuned because there is more content coming soon.